Brilliant. It's been an absolutely brilliant conference. It's been great fun, perfect hosts. We've had some fantastic site visits, so wonderful place. Colchester has hosted us incredibly well. Um, we've been on a bit of a journey. We've looked at the philosophy of natural beauty. We've looked at really, really getting to the bottom of why we're celebrating 70 years of the 1949 National Parks and Access to the Countryside Act. We've gone through that um, history of designated landscapes and we've actually reflected on the place that we are now. So the decision we've the, the, the decision we've come to, the place we've come to, is that nature recovery is actually central to the role of um, designated landscapes. But we've got a huge role to play in the world of AMDs and actually coming together collectively to agree some really quite um, stretching targets is exactly what we need to do. But we can't do that outside of the context of climate change. So we've discussed the impact of climate change and how we might respond to biodiversity challenges within that climate change lens or through that climate change lens. But we've also reflected on the need for a wider policy um, framework that will allow us to deliver. AOMBs don't own land, AOMB partnerships don't own land, the teams can't physically get out there and manage land themselves without an, an incredibly tight and positive relationship with farmers and landowners. So we've looked at the role of agri-environment and the importance of ensuring that the policy framework is right to allow us to deliver. And we've crucially looked at the, uh, the issue of resources. So we've challenged ourselves, um, we've risen to that challenge. The National Association has a role to play in supporting A1B teams in getting there. But we're also in the process of challenging government, both local and central. And I think the central message there is um, we're very, very willing to behave like protected areas. That's what we need to do now. But in order to do that, we have to be treated like protected areas. And I think for the 70th anniversary of the 1949 Act, it's a really powerful message, a really positive message. We are working with lots of really, really, um, really engaged people with a really strong sense of ambition. We've put that out on paper. Today is the day we have to start delivering um, in a way that we've never done before and we're very much up for it. So a brilliant conference, I'm very, very happy. Ultimately ended up in the Colchester Declaration, which sets out the principles and the targets by which we'll take these things forward. So I look forward to, to working with AOMBs as we go forward to, to, to turn these um, stretching targets into some really, really positive action. Thank you.